Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This week I'm using a new deck, it's called the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding. You can see the review, I've gone really uh, into detail with this review and you can see how how the cards look like and you can also see how the cards are put together and the overall picture. So have a look. It's quite a long video, but I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you are looking for new decks. For those that uh, have come here for the reading, welcome. This is your reading from the 7th to the 13th of September. And um, please subscribe and hit the bell on all if you're new and welcome. If you would like to become a cyber angel, like uh, you will hear me say my cyber angel quite a bit in the videos, please join us or me for uh, in the life on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my usual loyal followers and viewers, the Cyber Angels. Thank you for your loyalty and trust. There is also a special offer on this week. It was only to remain uh, until the coming Sunday, but because I didn't go live yesterday, I didn't really announce it again. There is a special offer and this will be until uh, for an one and a half weeks. So uh, Sunday the 13th, this special offer will finish. You can have an extensive reading and a very in-depth reading um, for 35 euros. It will be about 30 minutes long and I don't stop at 30 minutes. If it's 32 or 35 minutes, I would like to get finish the reading. It is quality and not quantity that I believe in. So if you want, would like to have an extensive reading, then get in there before it's over and uh, you'll be the first come, first served. Okay, so I hope you will take a note of that and try it out. If you would like to have any other reading, uh, then have a look at the website because there are different readings and see what reading you want to have for 30 minutes. If you just want a romance reading, fine. If you want a crystal ball reading with cards, then I'll do that in the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is for any reading that you wish to have. Okay, now let's begin and let's go to the story your story for this week. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you. Hi Virgo, this is your reading for the 7th to the 13th and I'm using the Transparent Tarot. If you would like to see any more of the Transparent Tarot then please go and have a look at the review that is out, uh, up and running. The first card we have is the Nine of Cups. Your wish is coming true. I can't lift them up. That's why I've put the camera down so you can see clearly what's happening and how I go to work with the cards. So your wish is coming true. Also, there's also an ending to a phase in your life and you're going into a much better, beautiful phase, especially if you're goal or wish is coming true. It could be that you have wished for something uh, new like a new love or a new passion, a new hobby or a job and your cup is running over as you have the Ace of Cups. You could be meeting a Cancer, you could be meeting a Scorpio or a Pisces as a new love or passion. They are l a loving and passionate and nurturing, also sen sensitive and sensual and sexy. They're really handsome or beautiful. <coughs> they do take care of themselves nine times out of ten and they love to take care of others. They could also be emotionally sensitive as water represents tears and tears represents our emotions. But also spiritually they can be very sensitive with full moons or new moons and they are um, people that listen to their feelings okay also very intuitively so there could be a new beginning 
could be a new job that you love, a vocation that you love or that you're passionate about and you're starting anew. This job or this relationship will be steady because you've got the four of wands. You might even be getting married. Awesome. There will be celebrations though. All good cards. I didn't sort them out, Virgo. Now look who's coming towards you. This could be a child. This could be a child because here you see the page. The page of cups. So some of you might be finding out that you are expecting and that is your new beginning because the cups is nurturing and loving you might be a mother awesome now I'm going to start layering and what do I mean by layering this is what I mean by layering you've got the seven of cups so we're going to layer them there you are the seven of cups means that you've got wishes or goals and they are coming true because the nine is underneath it you're still dreaming okay but once it's fulfilled then your dreams your wishes um, have come to fruition when you get the seven of cups I usually say be careful what you wish for make a priority list come into action so that your wish can come true by coming into action you can make a priority list the pros and cons and you can see which wish would come out much quicker um, uh, or sooner than the other ones and then you take that wish and you start manifesting or if you're looking for a job because you wish a job then start applying to jobs and that is how you stay motivated for other goals or dreams to come true now we have the eight of cups here we go your cup is overflowing but um, this is a new beginning the ace and your wish is coming true so perhaps you wanted excitement and adventure and that is coming true that could have been your wish wow magic it is just confirming that this new beginning that you have been wishing for is here all you have to do is take action now we have the knights the knight of sorry I'll do it this way no it came out this way so I must take it this way this is the knight of staves okay the minor arcana are marked differently but you can turn these cards any which way so this knight is bringing you news about this new beginning like I said this can be a job but it can also be passion or love a lasting relationship because you've got the four of wands here when the knight of wands comes in he brings news okay and this could be news about a new job because he stands for action or a new hobby as he also stands for creativity logic logically he's been strategically planning and that's why you have this new beginning but it could also be moving home if you are uh, uh, going out steadily or getting married uh, or have fallen in love you could be moving in together it is like a marriage do you see how the layers are working then we have the ten of swords okay the ten of swords so this page could be bringing you news that somebody has been gossiping about you or um, uh, somebody is not being true to you this could be a friend because a friend wasn't invited to the wedding or a friend feels jealous because you have met a fire sign Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces because those are the people and we've got the page of 
uh, cups here so there again there's a water sign that could be emotionally upset okay or a fire sign and you feel as if you've been stabbed by this friend that friendship is over and done with or there's been gossip at work and that is why you want to leave the job you want adventure you want excitement you want um, emotional stability and you would like um, to be active in your work you don't like people gossiping or uh, being negative you want people to be in balance and enjoy themselves this is the last layer and you have the eight of pentacles your hard work is being recognized now look at this this is just above you okay because your wish is here so you've been dreaming about it you're getting recognition you might even start a new study let's get it and you are in the circle of the wish so the eight of pentacles is your wish could be a new study could be recognition and promotion your wish has come true like I said it can be a job okay but it could also be that you some you've caught somebody's eye and that could be the fire sign or the water sign as that is predominantly here and there you go you've got the Sun on the ace of cups the ace the Sun means you're in the spotlight so you are being noticed so it is clarifying the eight of Pentacles the Sun is on you the spotlight is on you there could also be the fire sign could also be a Leo like I said as the Sun stands for Leo there are still things that you might need to research or study like the eight of Pentacles is also studying but a spotlight puts you in the light but there is also a dark side to everything something is being illuminated so there's something that you might not know enough about or you might not know that somebody is gossiping about you but the truth the Sun is positive so the Sun will <laughs> is saying the truth will come out so don't be surprised you are warned it will be okay you are strong you're as strong as a lion because Leo also has the strength card so that's why it's like a full circle something is coming full around full circle you will be emotionally ultimately happy what with the nine of cups your wish coming true and the Sun and the ace of cups though those are the one of the most positive cards and they're combined in this reading Wow nothing can go wrong the time is fertile for a birth this could be of a child this could be of a project a long-awaited wish a project okay it could also be a relationship the Sun also means promotions going up the next to the next level in work business or relationships this can be in love but this can also be in business you might find out that you're pregnant and if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions then we have the hermits so we are going from August into September because August, end of August beginning September that's the Virgo time and that's what we are in now so this time is really fertile for you to begin something new and to be sure of yourself the hermit also represents a retreat the Sun also means moving home or going on holiday to a warm country so you might be taking a retreat meditate and contemplate um, and evaluate and know that you have a proper foundation as the four of wands means celebrations proper foundations could be also a new home so for some of you if not for a lot of you there will be a new home 
either renting or buying. Okay? And if you need advice, seek advice from a mature man. This could be a father figure or a professional. Like the wise old man the hermit is, he always passes his um, knowledge on to third parties. Now, we also have the Page of Swords. So, in the first instance, you might be meeting a Gemini, you might be meeting a Libra, or um, an Aquarius, and he could be delivering you to official news, uh, news of a marriage. Okay, you the the uh, hermit is also a spiritual person, so that could be that you're seeking advice from a spiritual leader or guide. This could be a priest. This could also be somebody at a registry office, because we've got the official news here. So you might be getting married, like I said. Now, with the page and the knight, I would say, let your inner child come out, okay? Don't be too serious. You can be grown up, but let your inner child come out. The news will most probably come through cyber. And the news could be about love, because we've got the page of cups underneath. So, show your love. Show your inner child. Show your empathy. Okay. Something will become clear to you. This news will bring clarity. Like I said, the truth will come out. What with the Ten of Swords. So justice can be done. Once you know what to do, because it's clear to you what has happened or what is, then you can take action. Don't worry about it. Ten means an ending and a new beginning. Perhaps the news is of a new beginning. Okay. That is your reading for this week. So to recap it, don't worry. Your wishes, your goals are being recognized. Your wishes have been heard. You are in the spotlight. So there are things that you might not know. So you might have to do more research or you might have to do a new study. You might be moving home, what with the Knight of w Rods, or and with marriage, you might be moving in. You might be going up to the next level in your relationship, be it work or love. The officiality is here, marriage and news. You might be getting an invite to a wedding, who knows if it isn't yours. So you, your uh, wish is being heard and is coming to fruition. You are going to get this adventure, this excitement. You might be traveling, okay? You might be traveling in this new, could be a honeymoon. Wow. Okay. Now, the answer of the angels for you, Virgo, is learn to compromise learn to compromise the angel feather well it's flipped out and it is magnet magneta angel feather that's the barbie pink essence of entrepreneur well this is a good reading for an entrepreneur if you want to start your own business the angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic You've hard work, recognition for your hard work. They believe that you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow your, this path. Now we've also got the cards, Time to Shine, by Anne Ellis from Anne Ellis Tarot on YouTube. She also makes decks, and you've got a wisdom card. Time to use kindness to get results be confident and strong using compassion will bring results so let people that stab you in the back go let go of that 
and be gentle, just remain your gorgeous self. Be gentle and empathic. You've got what it makes. Boom. That is your message for this week. You've got it to make it. You can do the walk, you can do the talk. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Virgo, take care and be blessed. Ciao, ciao.